Okay, hello beautiful souls of love and light. Here we go again. And I am so excited to bring you this video because it is going to change everything for you on your healing journey. The journey of expansion, the journey of falling in love with yourself and who you are. And most of all, who you are becoming in this now moment once you decide to be present and in your body. My name is Elisa Mozal. I am an energy healer and a spiritual mentor and I love helping people heal their energy, move old stuck energies that pulling them down into lower frequency states of being, transmuting that energy up, 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 up into light, love, passion, high joy and bliss. And right now I wanted to talk about actually implementing and involving messages, messages, messages and involving your body on your healing expansion and transformation journey. This is so extremely important. And this is something that has been often left out and it is actually treated as something e spirituality should not be around. And I'm talking exactly more and more messages. I'm talking exactly about moving your body. You know what? Let me put this on, a, on an airplane because there will be, that's just a norm. Okay, that's amazing. So uh, implementing the way you look at your body, the way you feel inside of your body, the way you feel about your body and what do you do or don't do with your body is extremely important. And you know what? It has absolutely everything to do with your spiritual journey. So back in the day, we thought that spirituality, it is only about meditation, sitting in silence, only going up, up, up through your upper energy centers, chakras, out of your body and all of that. And you know what? It is a part of that journey, but it is not all of it. The wholeness is exactly the spiritual experience. So there is no separation between physical 3D and 5D. It is all together as a wholeness. When we are in our lower energy centers, when we heal them, when we are present in them, so we can move this energy, so we can become the clear on channel for the flow of the energies as it was designed. Energy was never designed to go there and get stuck and feel depressed for the rest of your life. Depressed is suppressed energy and frequency that no longer serves you for your best and it has got to be moved. And that's why you're constantly tired and exhausted because majority of your energy is spent on pushing down and suppressing and repressing that energy, that frequency that simply wants to move up. But that's maybe for another subject. So when we are actually implementing movement and working with our bodies, not against our bodies on our journeys, everything is starting to change and shift. So our bodies are the 3D manifestation of who we were or of who we are right now. So when you have a body that it feels really uncomfortable, that it feels really heavy, it feels really unpleasant, maybe it screams to you with pain, right? Because if we don't listen to the whispers of the bodies, it's going to come shouting to us, trying to tell us that there is something we're not doing, that it's not in alignment with who we are. So it is very important to start listening to our bodies and look at ourselves. And this is nothing to do with judgment, with criticism, with condemnation. And it is all about having a mirror of who we are being. And with the bodies and 3D, it takes a little bit to change and shift that. But again, we've got to do it from inside out. So when I started my spiritual journey, 
I started, of course, going on the upper centers, body, who cares, right? It doesn't matter, it's all about meditation, blah, 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 blah. And I, then I started understanding that no, 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 no. There is so much energy stuck within my body and I need to help my body to move that energy through my movement, through my breath, through my energy, through my intention, and through the physical movement. And I'm one of these people who, each time I would exercise in the past, it would be so much guilt and shame, so much criticism, so much self-hatred. It would feel like a punishment. So for me, exercise has been always, you know, something I could not stick with. Yet, when my friend introduced me to yoga and stretches, I started thinking like, wow, that has nothing to do with exercise and it has a lot to do with the breath and actually stretching and moving my body. And that was the first thing, apart from walking outside in nature, that I was able to stick with and do it. And at the beginning, I would do it for two weeks and I would have two weeks break and it would be so difficult and I would be overstretching. I would be trying to do the pose that lady that is doing yoga is showing me to do the same way, not being compassionate and loving towards myself. So I was pushing and forcing my body instead of working with my body and allowing that body intelligence to teach me presence, to teach me to be in my body, to teach me to love myself so much more. And we've got to understand as well that we are over 90% of who we are, our 3D body, it is space. And you can call it empty space, nothingness, no thing, but it is actually filled up with your essence, with your specific energy frequency signature. So if your internal energy signature is, I hate myself, your body is going to manifest that, it is going to manifest cancer, it is going to manifest a broken bone, it is going to manifest a bruise, it is going to manifest being underweight or overweight. Your body is going to listen to that frequency vibration. And again, no judgment there, no judgment there. We are all come here to experience particular things and everything is a result of particular choices that we made. Um, and it takes time as well to change that and shift that, but everything is possible once we're starting to look at it from an entirely new frequency. When we look at ourselves like, oh my goodness, I'm actually over 99.9999%, I am on space, I am no thing into which I can tune in and dwell in. And by doing that, I'm shifting away more and more from already fixed ID of matter, which contains pain, depression, resentment, cancer, feeling not good enough, being not good, being a person who feels constantly shame, a person who is addicted to this and that. So the more we spend time and our focus the more we pay attention to noting the frequency, the energy, the space, the more we are able to detach from the old, create from being nowhere by bringing the high frequency of love and light, which is just the natural way of being. What we're actually doing is we are just dropping we're just dropping the old, dropping the heavy, becoming lighter and lighter and lighter every single day when we practice that in our meditation, in our movement as well. So I'm going to very strongly encourage you to move your body whichever way works for you. And if calling that practicing yoga makes you feel not good, makes you feel like you're not going to stick with it, that's okay, don't call it this way call it stretching or following a video or just doing a little body movement. Do it whichever way works for you best. Trick yourself into believing you're doing that just today, just for today, just now. And the more you are in your body with your focus love, 
and attention, the more you are present through the breath, the more space, space again, you're bringing in to your body and the easier and faster you will manifest the health, transformation, falling in love with yourself, which is going to magnetize the love of your life into your reality. It would be so much easier for you to become that person who is earning $10,000 every single month because you will be in that energy. So it's natural that the universe is going to bring it to you. It will show up in a 3D matter just like that. So I urge you to every single day move your body. The biggest amount of old stuck energy is in hips and it is in the gut. It could be in the joints as well. Therefore, yoga stretches, yin yoga stretches, or every single day, 10, 15, 20 minutes, whatever you can do, it is absolutely the most beautiful recipe for success. When you will implement all the other modalities like meditation, breath work, loving yourself, journaling, being a member of the tribe, getting involved with a group of people who do exactly what you do, meeting up with them on the Zoom every week, meeting up with them face to face, getting yourself out of your comfort zone, away for a retreat, away for all of a sudden random trip to the sea or the beach or to the woods, doing things randomly and being staying in your body, moving your body and implementing the most powerful I am affirmation you can think of for yourself. Once you will do all of it religiously every single day, there is no way, there is no way that the new you is not going to show up within a few months. And if you need help, hire help. I highly recommend it. There is no way I would be here if I would not ask for help, then hire help and then do everything I'm told to do. There is just no way I would be here and that I would be able to manifest the life I have manifested for myself, which is phenomenal. The last few months I've manifested it all. I've manifested it all in such a short period of time where years before I was doing a lot, few things were missing few things were missing, but I was doing a lot and I couldn't, I couldn't make it happen. I would go up with my frequency and then I would dive deep and it would be constantly, constantly this way, constantly turning back to that low frequency of guilt, shame, not good enoughness. It's not gonna happen for me. So I urge you, move your body, work with your body, go back to this video, take notes, implement everything you can in your daily living, no days off. The new you is waiting for you. It's literally knocking to your door. That's why you're watching this video. And I'm wishing you absolutely all the best on your journey. But you've got to remember that you're the one who has to take and put the action. You're the one who has to sit down. You're the one who is digesting that frequency and information for yourself. You can get the help, you can get the guidance, support, love, but you're the one who has to take the action and want it. Want it so much to be that version of yourself that your heart urges you to go and get it, which it basically means become it here and now. I'm going to wish you all the best, guys. Thank you for watching. If there is a specific value you picked it up from that video, please comment below, allow other people to benefit from your presence over here as well. And I will see you soon in my next video. Mwah.